Hello and welcome to Kismetrizing. So I'm doing your weekly oracle card guidance, but I'm not using oracle cards uh, this week. I'm using another deck of cards, which I've used on this channel once before. And um, they actually like, or they, they basically like gypsy cards, or they're more like, um, they're a mi mix of gypsy and Sabila cards and Norm Norman cards. And um, yeah, I'm just going to use these cards this week and see what, what comes out of them. Okay, we have th um, three objects here. They are three magnets, actually. Go ahead and make your selection. It's option number one, number two, and number three. And I'll go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, what is your weekly guidance as you go along this week? What is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to be aware of? And what is the advice as you go along? And once again, I use these cards as a guideline to connect with you, uh, but more um, as a way of, of giving me something to channel from. And I don't always read the meaning of the cards directly. I sometimes just channel a message and it might not resonate uh, with the meaning of the card, but I'm, I'm simply picking up the energy that you are bringing, that those of you who've chosen this number uh, are bringing up. Okay, so I'm um, just going to give these cards another shuffle and ask once again, what is it that those of you who've chosen option number one have come here to hear? What is important for you this week? Okay. Do we have the card to number 11, the snake? I'm going to see if there's anything else that wants to come through here. Snake, the flame. And the letter. Okay. So I feel as we go ahead in this week, you need to be aware of... Um, influences that are more watery um that uh perhaps there's somebody around you who's got a fairly watery nature somebody who likes to keep things to themselves somebody who's a little bit um um secretive or or likes to keep information to themselves and and suss out a situation before they can actually act upon it and i feel like the way to overcome this this week or the guidance that you've been given uh, to overcome this energy of this person or the influence that they may have in your life um, is to to be fiery. It is to use that dry, hot energy uh, to embody that, to to have to embody that persona, to be able to come across, uh, to be able to to kind of um, not strike out at this other energy that's coming out your way, but simply to counter this other energy that's coming your way. So, um, you know, it could be a person, but it also could be a kind of institution or a situation where you're being manipulated, where you're being um, somehow uh, convinced to do something that is not really for your benefit, uh, but is for a benefit of someone else or something else. And here the... The advice given is to counter it with being hot and dry. Well, hot and dry are to fl to burn it out, to to let it um, f uh, create the circumstances or create the context where it's going to come out by itself. So it's basically create an environment where this energy can't survive in it. So if you do feel like there is something around you this week where you feel like you might be being manipulated, it might be that um, you feel like there's something underhanded going on around you. Somebody's not being as honest as they need to be. Uh, somebody's putting their interests uh, before yours in a way that that is probably going to hurt you, you or trying to fool you into doing the same. Then I think the way to do to deal with this is to simply be uh, very dry and honest and and just not really entertain them but be um you know simply be as honest as you can and put all your cards on the table here and speak to them directly it's almost like to confront them in a way because they're going to try to do things in an underhand way or the situation itself it comes through through to you quite surreptitiously and so the advice here is to to deal with it head on so to ask questions that might be uncomfortable to ask to to work in a, with this energy in a way that is um, you know making the moisture evaporate from from them so I'm talking about it merely in terms of the energy 
But um, so how would it translate to, you know, how would um, wicking away the moisture or, or drying up the moisture actually um, work? And so I think that, in, in, you know, if you had to apply it into your life, it's almost as if, if you were to be completely direct um, to someone, if you had to ask questions that might be not, it's not really comfortable to ask those questions, then you're going to find that you have answers that you need much quicker. And um, and there isn't a chance for any anything to be hidden. There isn't a chance for somebody to play a game with you or to for a situation to evolve without you noticing what's going on. So I think really keep a keen notice on what's going on this week and and um, confront a situation that you may not feel comfortable in. Ask questions that may be awkward to ask. And then there's something um, that comes out of this. It feels almost, almost as if there's this um, there's this news that that comes out of this or it it is an action that you need to take where you need to perhaps write a letter or you need to uh to inform somebody of something you need to make it clear perhaps in writing about how you will go about doing things or how you will venture on from here it there's also a sense that you might receive some news but i think it's more that you are the one who's who's going ahead and saying well i won't be tolerating this or i won't be uh, taking this course of action any longer or I'm not willing to to embark upon this course of study because I see there's all these hidden costs here and uh, you know it's something something like that it's almost as if you've been lied to or robbed into doing something and then you need to inform somebody um, that you won't be doing it or that you won't uh, be taking that path or that you will be taking a different path or if you are taking that path, then here are your lists, uh, your terms and conditions that come along with that. So that's a very specific message. And sometimes they're not that abstract. And um, and it's not just, a, you know, something that fits everyone. But a really, uh, it's, it's speaking to a few of you, perhaps. And um, I hope that as you go along in this week, that you find a way to be able to overcome any of those influences that are decidedly deceptive and also um, to be as honest and raw and clear as you can be uh, in this time. And also just to be able to put that in writing as well so that um, your your word is being taken more seriously and you have some evidence of, of what was said uh, in the future. All right, so I'm going to leave that um, there and I hope that that reading has resonated with you and I hope it does help you as you go along in this week. And so for those of you who chosen the second option here, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is it that you've come here to hear right now? And what's that bit of information that's going to help you go through in this week? That's actually going to help you to get through this week and give you what you need to go through this time. And we have number 27, the cats. I'm just going to check if there's something else here that needs to come through for you. And we have the number three, the house. And we have the heart. Okay, and so we have the, um, the cards, number 27, the cats. We have the house and we have number 30, the heart. And so I feel here that uh, as you go ahead in this week, it is a time where you not, may need to do something that is... Um, quite self-interested where you are taking into account your own needs only and not necessarily respecting other inhabitants in your, in your home it might be that you've um that you've been told not to do something or you've been warned not to do something but you decide to do it anyway and that uh but but it's going to be to your benefit that you do this and you need to do this it's a matter of survival it's a matter of your well-being um being taken into account and being taken um earnestly and i think that there, it almost feels like in order to build trust and love and uh, to maintain harmony in, in this home, in, this, in your home environment, it's necessary for you to take this action, 
these actions in um, a kind of, no, I wouldn't say it's a sly manner, but it's almost as if you've decided to do something. You haven't really talked to the other inhabitants of your home about it. And you're just going to go ahead and you're going to do it because you think that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay for you. It's going to be okay for them. And uh, But you kind of know that it's not really what the others uh, want or that the other's going to be happy about. And so the advice here this week is to do what is necessary for there to be love and for love to be cultivated, to do what is necessary for the house to be in harmony and for all to be well. And now it might not seem on the outset that if you do this particular thing that everyone would be happy. In fact, it might seem as if they won't be happy, but it's almost as if um, these cards here there's it's like giving you the permission to go ahead and to take an action that might not be um really understood by the others or perhaps it's understood but it might not really be appreciated by the others and it's really it's certainly not what they want on the other hand it might be that it's okay to go ahead and do this because um you are um you are taking into account the, the needs of all and ultimately all are going to be okay. So it's almost it's like um, the way to, how can I explain this? It's almost like you need to do some, something selfish, but at the same time, it's going to be good for everyone else in, involved. Okay, so that's one interpretation of these cards. So another interpretation of, the, uh, of these cards is that uh, in order for you to um, to have love, to be happy, to feel fulfilled, to have what makes you feel content, you need to be able to feel at home in your situation in a way that um, that you haven't been able to until now. So I would say that one of the things that you could potentially do here is uh, you could actually try to like spring clean your home or try to reorganize things in your home, try to uh, put things in a, in a different place or uh, just, you know, pack things in boxes and then take them out again and, and reposition them in your home or just, you know, remove, move around your furniture in your home or or just, you know, give yourself a, a different scenery at home. Because what's going to happen is that it's going to impact the energy in the home, you know, in terms of feng shui and also just in terms of the way in which you look at things, you're going to be able to look at things with fresh eyes and you're going to have a different perspective as you go along. So I think that here... Um, it's almost like you are ready now to be able to begin something new. And um, in order to do that, you need to um, reorganize your home or pack things away or, or put things in different positions in order for you to have a different perspective in your home. Then there's one other th um, thing here. It almost seems as if in order for you to have what you love, in order for you to need to to actually access what you need or what you love, you need to break away from the home. It's like this is another message that might resonate to some of you. But it's almost like you need to take yourself out of this home equation, and you need to be able to give yourself what it is that you love, and and be um um in a space where you're free to to give yourself what you need. Okay, so the home may be providing quite a lot for you, maybe providing your basis uh, and might be providing all that you've needed until now but it's almost like you need to find yourself again and there's a lot to discover as far as that is concerned and for those of you where this message uh, resonates in terms of you coming together to make something at home then there's also the sense that uh, whatever it is there is something that needs to be discovered and you and there's a lot to be discovered there's a lot to be discovered so I think the energy that you might be feeling is that you know there is um, there's not much that there is to do or what else shall you do or there's a boredom here or there's wondering you know how else can you inject fresh new energy into the situation but uh, and you might be hopeless about that but I feel here that there's quite a lot more to be found to be um, discovered about yourself to be discovered about other members of your family if you would just look at um, the situation in you and look at the situation afresh I feel here as well that as you embark upon this path that you almost work walking towards a space where you can bring more love to yourself and more happiness to yourself and that romance can also play a role 
in this as you go along in your life in the next few months or so. So taking the decision or the step that you take now with regard to your home is ultimately going to impact your love life in the long term as well. I find it also interesting that the 27 and the 3 here makes 30. Um, so I think that there's a relation to that as well. And, uh, you know, the the, um, the 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 self or the being, the independent being with the house um, I, makes the heart or the heart, uh, you know, it can be your heart or your life or your well-being um, can actually be divided into the house and into the being and to the uh, individual here. So I feel like, you know, there is a kind of, that's probably doesn't make sense at all, but uh, the, the sense I'm getting here is that um, there is a lot to be found still. There's a lot to be learned still. There's a lot to be discovered if you can go about it in a way that is quite uh, subtle and also quite, um, well, clever, almost streetwise, and and to take that action now as you go along. So there's a, quite different messages here for different people who have chosen this option. I hope that some of that resonates, and I hope that you do get something out of this reading today. But I do feel that ultimately there is um there's a is some kind of fulfillment in terms of love that's coming along your way, or that's going to be evident um as you go along all right so good luck with that and let me know if it happens and uh i'm wishing you all a very blessed week and so for those of you chosen the third option here we're asking what is your guidance for the week ahead what is it that you've come here to hear what is it that you need to know as you go ahead Okay, so for the, it seems like the week ahead for you is going to have quite a lot of energies coming from different paths. It doesn't feel as if it's going to be a coherent week as such. So it almost feels like the way it starts off and the way it ends has very different energies, has very different flavors uh, to it. And it feels like even though there may be something eating away or something that's working away or something that's um, kind of gnawing away at you at some point in the week, you might find some kind of reprieve along the way where you might receive a gift or you might receive some kind of pleasant um, gesture from a friend or from someone else. And having said so, uh, all of this is going to be somehow um, more superficial or outside of you compared to what you need to focus on and ultimately what you need to keep safe for yourself. And so I think that as you go along in this week, especially as you come to the end of the week, you're going to find that um, you there's something more important in, in all of this that is needs to be cherished, that needs to be treasured and looks looked after and not something that you can just let leave to the wind uh, to kind of work out for itself, but rather something that you, you're going to understand. It's almost like a realization that comes your way where you understand, okay, well, this is something that I need to take care of and I need to control and I need to plan or I need to actually make sure that it works out this way. And the safe here is referring to that. It's referring to you actually taking that action where you're doing something that's going to benefit you in the long term, where you're going to do something that's actually going to be uh, helping you in the long term. And it's almost as if the pleasantries that you receive or the, uh, the gifts that, that you receive in this week, uh, it's, it's going to be superficial and almost uh, it's almost as if it makes you even more convinced of the action that you need to take for yourself. So this could be something more in the long term, something that's going to benefit you in the long term. That's something something that's going to lend to your heritage or to your, um, your, to your legacy, perhaps. And it's something that's going to assist you to uh, live more comfortably in the future or have your dependents perhaps live more comfortably in the future. And I think that whatever comes to you from others during this week, you, it's almost as if you see it as being and uh, not having not being able to stick, not having not longevity, not being able to have an impact in the longer term. And it's also as if you, here it seems like the, the you know you become more aware of what eats your way or what actually is working towards you 
uh, or where you're losing your energy. It, it doesn't necessarily mean here that something somebody's doing something to you, but it could be your own thoughts, your own mind that's gnawing away at you, that's hurting you, and it's your focus that needs to change. It's your focus that needs to move away from that which is more superficial and more status oriented, perhaps, or perhaps what others may think of you, and um, and stop having thoughts that are are hurting you, and and uh, gravitate towards something that's more f for you in the long term so perhaps you've thought about having children but you haven't actually taken any action towards it and perhaps this is a week where you could think about something on that or perhaps you've thought about buying a property somewhere and um and you haven't you know done that as yet and perhaps this is a week where you start thinking about that again or take some more formal action in terms of acquiring such a, a space or, or or a property if it were that there's also a sense here of um, knowing when it's enough, knowing when you've had enough and when you've just, it's time to move on. It's time for um, trivialities or frivolities not to play a role any longer and for a time where you can become more serious and where things need to settle down and, and where you're thinking about how to go about doing things. It's also a time where you decide, you could decide, well, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of whatever's been bothering me or whatever I've been doing that hasn't been helping me. And I'm tired of dreaming about it. I'm tired of thinking about how good it can be. I'm actually going to just make it happen. I'm going to go ahead and make it happen for me. And and that is where the safe here will also uh, play a role in that. It makes you, it's almost like a, a kind of... Um, a symbol in your life where you're investing in yourself, when you're investing in who you are. And it could also be um, that you decide you're going to leave everything and just travel because here you're also investing in yourself. You're investing in your experience as an individual. And um, so it could also be something like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. I think that the, the energy for the number three is very different from the energy from the other two uh, today. And it often is that way. Uh, but um, I'm going to leave you there and I hope that these um, messages have actually helped you and they've made a difference for you. And I'm wishing you a wonderful week as you go along. Please stay safe and healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>